What's up guys? This is a video on how to fit together the IKEA Malm cupboards. So right guys, they actually come in uh, two boxes. So there's a box one and a box two. So as soon as you get them, split them apart and set them up separately like I have here. So that was a uh, box one and this is box two. And these are the actual uh, Malm wardrobes, what they look like when you actually finish them. So I have put them together already and uh, they are really nice wardrobes. They're a gloss white and uh, I really like them. So that's what they actually look like. And uh, I'm gonna put this together. Like I said, what I've done is box one is over there and box two is here. They do come with the individual uh, screws and bits and pieces. So I've set them on that side for that side and then one's over there for that side. So right guys, we're going to start putting it together. I've got a head cam on, so I'm going to do my best to show you everything. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start off with these are the two tools we're going to need. We're going to need a screwdriver with a Phillips bit and uh, a flat bit as well. And you'll need a hammer. So right guys, what we're going to start off with is with these little plastic things. I'll show you what they look like. This is what they actually look like. So we're going to fit them in first. So these actually fit in here. And they're there to protect the drawers when you're closing them. So we're going to fit them quickly first. So one goes on either side. They do normally give you one extra. I have had one extra out of the other ones. And then the last one goes in here. So we've got one extra. Put that to the side. Next we're going to grab these little screws. And we're going to fit them on. So right, these we're going to actually fit into these pre holes. So that's what we're going to do now. Just put them in level and just screw them in. But don't screw them completely and just leave them slightly sticking out. So about there. Do the next one. So the other screws we're going to put back for later. So the next things we're going to grab are these. So I'll quickly show you these before we fit them. But if you can see there, 
don't know if I'm going to get that into the camera but there's a narrow point in that way so you've got to make sure these are pointing in the right direction so these are the locking locking screws and these work together so basically when you screw that in what will happen with this is it will go into here and it will lock it into place basically so that's how it basically goes you'll screw it into the thing this will be flat you'll offer it in and you'll turn it and it'll just lock into place like that so that's how these work so right we're going to fit these now remember what i said about the arrow so i'm going to show you where to fit these now So these we're going to fit in over here, make sure these are pointing outwards that way. So we're going to fit that one here like that. They don't have to be perfectly straight but do your best to point them in the right direction. With the ones on the other side same as the, uh, same as the other side but make sure they're pointing downwards towards here. So we're going to fit them as well. Don't worry if you do get them wrong, you can use the uh, screwdriver and turn them and put them into the right position where you need them to be. So we're going to fit all these. Just these last few. So what I like to do is I'd like I like to put everything in in advance. So you're not messing about later trying to get in awkward places to screw everything in and put everything together. So right that's them gone. So the next thing we're gonna grab are these and we're gonna grab these at the same time. And we're going to fit them together now. So I'm just going to put them there for the time being. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit these in the smaller holes, like so. And we're just going to put the wooden doilies in as well at the same time. So we're just offering these in and we're just screwing them in by hand. Just a little bit, just to get them going. So we want to do this and work our way all the way down. It's the same on the other side as well. We do have to tighten these up after but I just like to put them in the place first so it saves any messing about.
So we've got one extra. So we'll put that to the side. That was a wooden doily, we've got one extra. So right guys, we're going to start tightening them up. And the same with the other side as well. So right guys, that's uh, everything done on this side for now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dive onto the box one now. And we're going to start putting some of these together. So right. So what we'll do first, just need to keep an eye on my phone just to make sure you can see everything. So what we're going to do first is we're going to grab these and we're going to do the same thing as before we're going to slot these in so right we're going to do that now so we're going to put these in but these are going to be facing upwards One on either side. And uh, on these little pieces as well, we need to put them in. And make sure they're facing outwards, this way. And that's same on all of them. It's the same on the other side as well. So that's just on them four pieces. Just checking, uh, you can see everything on my phone. And then we've got two pieces left and these two pieces are going to go into 
this piece here so just make sure they're facing outwards that way you can check and make sure there's a hole at the back of there and when you, where you see the hole that's where it should be facing one on either side right um right the next thing is what we are going to fit again are going to be these and the wooden doilies so we're going to grab them and uh, we're going to start placing them into the places where they need to be so we're going to start off with the top piece so this is the top piece and what we're going to do is we're going to put one over here then we're going to put a wooden doily into the next hole wooden doily in the next hole and then a screw into the next one you can tell which ones they are because one hole slightly smaller than the other so the bigger one takes the wood wooden doilies and the other ones take the um, screws so that's that in right we're going to put the next ones in now but before we do that while we're here we might as well put the clamps on on the uh, on the cupboard so what we need to do we need to grab this bag and then out of this we need the two brackets two washers and two little screws so these brackets are there to connect the cupboard to the wall so it doesn't tip and fall over so in the rest of the bag we've got another two screws two plugs and two more washers and that's to attach it to the wall so we'll save them for later and uh, what I'll do now is I'll get my screwdriver and I'll fit these now so we don't have to come back to this again so just put a screw through the washer and put it through the bracket and then there's holes there on either side one there and one there so that's what we're going to do so just offer it up and screw it in So don't leave them too loose and don't do it too tight. We don't want it loose where it's flopping about, but we don't want it too tight where we can't move it. So we might as well tighten these up while we're up here. Same on the other side.
So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to fit them in the sides of the drawers. So one each on the top, followed by two wooden doilies. So I'm going to put the doilies in. Here the same thing again. So on the bottom We're going to stick one of these here and one on the other side. Then we're going to stick one of the wooden doilies on that side and one over here and same on the other side. And we've got one spare. So right, what we're going to do now is we're going to tighten all them up. Just be careful when you screw these in, just gently push them down, straight down and go in. Try not to tilt it to the right or the left, because it will split the wood. And finally the last two pieces at the bottom, one on the other side. So right guys, the next thing we're going to do is going to put these plastic legs on. So they're just simply attaching the bottoms. There's two holes, I don't know if you can see that push it in through the holes. Let's see if I can get that in. And two on the other side. And one on the other side. Right, we've got uh, two left over. So now we need this piece of wood. So here we turn this around and you can see two holes here, that's where the other leg fits and same with the other side. So that's the legs on the bottom, 
the next thing we're going to do is grab these two brackets and uh, we're going to grab four of these screws grab your Phillips screwdriver and we're going to fit these like that so that's what we're going to do now And the same thing on the other side, fit the bracket exactly the same way. Right, um, thinking what's the next step we can do. We want to split these apart. Move that across there for a second. So right, we're going to grab them pieces there. And we're going to attach them. So what we're going to do is, if you can see the locking mechanisms there at the top, and there's another hole there for the wooden doily. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to slot these in. So the shiny bit goes on the bottom. And that faces the top, the chipboard side. So right, we're going to attach them now. Just be very careful. And just push them down. Do that with all of them. Make sure they're all facing downwards. So right, that's all them in. So we're going to lock them in place in a minute. But before we do that, what we're going to do is this piece here we are going to fit in here like that so basically it just slots into the holes same as the other piece and you can see there's two holes there for the screws so one's going to go in there The other one's going to go in here. Right, the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to come together fast now. We're going to get the uh, bottom piece and we're going to fit that. So we're going to fit it that way. The lock mechanism goes into the uh, screw. And uh, make sure you line it up with the wooden doily holes as well. So that's pushed in now, you can see it's flush, so I'm just going to take this off and put the flat bit on my screwdriver. And now we're going to start locking them into place. So 
what we'll do is we'll start from the top here and we'll lock these into place And then with this piece here as well, we're going to lock that as well. Right, so that's locked into place. Right, the next step guys, let's make some room. We need to lie this to the side. So I'm just gonna move this across a bit. And move this across a bit. So you need to be very careful now. I'm just gonna put my phone down so I, I can move this across. So basically just be careful and just gently put it on its side so now it should be on its side like that so the next thing we need to do is get the other side And what we need to do here is offer it up with the locking locking knots on each and individual one of them but we don't want to push them in yet so just line them up And uh, when we get to this stage here, line it up with this one as well. So lift this up slightly and line it into place. Once you've done that, we need to actually make sure these are all slotted in more or less, but then we need to pick it up. And if you can see there, we need to put it on top of that piece of wood. So that's what we'll do now. So I'll just give it a little tap there. So that's just knocked out. So right, once we've done that, what we need to do before we lock them all into place we need to make sure this is piece of wood slotted into its thing so right so that's locked into its place so what we'll do now we'll get this screwdriver and the two screws I have to put the Phillips bit back in and now we're going to screw these in So just make make sure they're tight and now we're going to swap it back to the flat screwdriver thing i'm just going to put that back up there i don't want to lose that so now what we're going to do is make sure it's all tapped into place And 
and now we're going to lock these into place and just work our way down and we're going to lock this one as well Let's just make sure they're all in place Right, as you can see, it's all coming together now. Next thing we're gonna put on is the top. And then this is more or less complete. We just need to put the back on. So we're gonna lift this up and put it like this. So what we need to do is lift the uh, Covered slightly up and line up the holes like so and same on the other side we just need to lift it up a bit and line everything up we just need to tap them in again with the screwdriver We just need to tighten them locking mechanisms up so we'll tighten this one up here and the one at the bottom same with the top one here same with the bottom So right guys, that's uh, the cupboard put together now. These are the next things we're gonna need. We'll put the drawers together in a minute. Let's attach the back of it together. So we're gonna grab the back of it. And we're going to attach the back of it on now. Before I attach the back of it, I just want you to have a look at the profile here on the sides. And you can see where the back of it is going to slot in, in between the wood. But just have a look at the gap what's available. And when we're going to tap these little nails in to hold the back of it together, make sure you don't go too much to the right. You're all right coming to the left because it's more or less the middle when you tap it in but if you go a little bit right it will split the wood so just be careful with that so right um, we're going to attach the back of it on just going to open this up so basically just open it up this way so it falls open and just put it on like this just slot it in everywhere so make sure it's all slotted in here slotted in there So right, I'm quite happy with that. So next we've got the screws. So just empty the screws on there. I'll just grab my hammer yeah. 
So now we're gonna fit these together. So the first nail, we're gonna fit over here. So when you're quite happy, just fit it in. So the next one I'm gonna fit over here. On the other corner. So you can see where I'm putting it. Next one in the next corner. One in this corner here. And now I'll put one over here. And one on the other side. And then after that, I'll just split them then and just work out what I need. So always put two close to the uh, split in the middle sorry about the dog next door Now I'm just going to line the ones up on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll put eight on this side actually. So right, we're going to tap them in now.
Ne, ale... Right, that's the last nail in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the drawers together. Let's get my screwdriver. So right, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the first piece, make sure the holes are at the bottom, the locking nuts are facing on the out, so that's what we're going to attach first. So we're going to slot them into the places. So if you look down here you can see where the locking screw goes into and then the wooden doilies. With the other ones, same thing with the other side, make sure the screws, the holes are at the bottom and then we're facing outwards. So now we're going to lock them into place. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the backs and we're just going to put them into the groove. They only slot into the groove for now. We'll do that with all of them.
the next thing we're going to do is grab the backs of them and we're going to grab these screws plastic ones right so we're going to grab one back and if you can see the groove that's where that's going to sit into so we're going to turn it around slot it into the groove and then I don't know if you can see the gaps on the side here like that we're going to fit it in between there so once it slots into place like that you can see that we're going to get two plastic screws we're going to put them through the holes and we're going to tap them in just hold it into place while you're tapping it and it's same with the other side as well so make sure it's slotted in again put the screws in the hole just make sure it's all lined up and then just tap it in. so right we're going to do the next one now and do it to all the rest of them so we'll grab another back Slotted into the base. And then we're going to line everything up. Two plastic screws. Same on the other side, so make sure it's lined up, this has come out again. Do the next one. So just make sure that's lined up again. We'll do the top one as well while we're here. So make sure they're slotted in again.
So right guys, the next step we're going to put the Phillips back in. So now what we want to do is grab one draw. So lie it down in front of us like that. Grab one of these brackets. And if you can see this, it's basically like a washer, you just slot it in. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna push this in, slot it in like that. I'm gonna tighten mine up a bit more, it's a bit loose. So yeah, you slot it in like that and then you just turn it and place it there. Get one of the screws and screw that in. So here you might need a punch. But I'll just use the uh, screw to feed it in. that's done basically that's the to take the load of the weight next thing we're going to do is turn it to its side and then we're going to grab one set of these brackets And we want to place it like this on top so the wheel goes at the back and the three holes line up that's just to show you how it is next we're going to get three of these screws and we're going to screw them in We're going to repeat that to the other side. Grab another three screws. So there you go guys, that's one draw completed. So I'm just gonna put that down there. And we'll start on the next one. So we're gonna slot that in like that again. And we're gonna turn it. fit another screw turn it to its side grab two brackets
three screws and we're going to screw them into the three holes again and basically we're just going to do that to all of them Turn it over. So right guys, that's another draw complete. I'm going to do that to the rest of them. This one's a bit tight. Not happy with that, I'm just going to tighten that other one up again a bit more. Next, turn them to the side.
So right guys, that's the uh, drawers all together. So we're just going to lift this up and put it into place. So at this stage here now, if you can see the brackets, I don't know if you can come up, but the brackets are at the back there. I'll go around the back. So what you want to do is wherever you're fitting this, you want to put it against the wall and from the inside you want to push these out. When it's touching the wall, you want to make a mark on both sides and then uh, you want to make a mark on both sides. And then after that, you want to pull the cupboard away, drill some holes, put the cupboard back. After you put some plugs in, screw it all together. Right, we're going to put the drawers in now. So right guys, that's it all put together, and this is the Malm draw, and uh, I, I do like it, it's really nice. So right guys, I hope this helps somebody out who's thinking about buying one, or somebody who's putting one together and is having problems. So right guys, uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, bye.